Hey guys, this is Super Review Show for another episode of Rock Talk. This is the show where I break down albums that I think you should just listen to, whether they have anniversaries or whatever. You, whatever I think the album is just that good, you should definitely check it out. As the title of this video suggests, and some people might be saying, well, why are you talking about this? But I have to tell you the truth. Uh, today I'm talking about Maroon 5's Songs About Jane Has Turned 20. I don't have a physical LP of it. I don't have a CD of it. I've only streamed the album on Spotify from start to finish. And I got to tell you, this is where my love for Maroon 5 is. My, my love for Maroon 5 is this album in particular. Some people say like Overexposed or Won't Be Long Before Soon. Or some people say Jordy or Red Pill Blues. Terrible albums. Terrible albums. Let me just get that out of the way. Red Pill Blues and Jordy are awful. The sound of it, the production, there's no guitar. There's no. They don't sound like themselves at all. They definitely adapted for the times. They made an R&B album. They made a Tropical House album. That they Terrible records. The only good part of either one of those records is Beautiful Mistakes from Jordy. That actually is a pretty good song. But other than that, that's about it. Memories is terrible. Nobody's Love is terrible. Like, what, like girl, uh, Girls Like You is okay. Come on. Uh, but today we're talking specifically about Songs About Jane. Songs About Jane was the debut album by Maroon 5. And I'm also talking about this because just recently too, Maroon 5's She Will Be Loved just reached a billion streams on Spotify not too long ago. Um, so you're probably saying, well, that how could you hate the new Maroon 5 and like the old, I just, I prefer the older Maroon 5 more than the newer Maroon 5. That's just me. I'm not a big fan of the other, the new, like ever since like 2017, it's been like, so like, don't want to know. It's just, just a keyboard synth with the Kendrick Lamar rapping on it. Give me a break. Um, but this is where my love for Maroon 5 is. This is where they became a, they, they started out as a neo soul pop band, pop rock band. And I loved every second of this record. Tangled. Sunday morning, harder to breathe. Because when I when I think of Maroon Five personally, I'm old enough to say this. Unfortunately, because some people are like, "Oh, Maroon Five. and I'm uh, personally, I, I'm old enough to say that the this album. When I think of Maroon Five, I don't think about the synth Maroon Five. I don't really think about the the beat driven, doom 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 doom, like hard beat driven Maroon Five. I think of the she will be loved Maroon Five. This love Maroon Five. The harder to breathe, the tangled, the 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 um, I forget the name of the sun song that they have, like, like the sun, or like, or even Sunday morning. That's the Maroon Five I think of personally. Some people are like, oh well, daylight, yeah, daylight's great. One more night is great. Payphone, just good pop songs overall. But I gotta tell you, this is a great record. Um. It's hard to believe that Maroon Five has still been so relevant after 20 years. Because I mean, you would think most people would, most most artists would be like, "Oh yeah, whatever." They have one hit, they come and go. That's it. Maroon Five, as much as I dislike it, some of their stuff has been very consistent over the past 20 years, and they're probably still going to go on like that forever and ever. I mean, they're going to adapt to their times, and because that's the thing too is this album and uh, the one after it won't be long before soon. There are some really great songs that they don't play at all off this these two albums. Um. Like can't stop, good night, good night. Like there's really solid. We even won't go home without you. Like there's a really good songs on those first two records, and they adapted to their times. The first two is the early two thousands. Moves like Jagger introduced some more pop sound to them. Overexposed was just a definite crazy pop album for them, um, which I loved quite a bit. But none of it came close. And V, you know, it was good for the most part. With Sugar, Maps. Animals. Those are pretty really good songs too, but all in, well, pale, pale in comparison to that first record. Um, yes, it sounds like an OG thing. Like, oh, you like your visual Maroon Five? Well, well, like, well, no, let's, I really do. Because "She Will Be Loved" is probably my favorite Maroon Five song. Probably is. It's one of the best songs, probably their best song they've ever written. In all their and all the stuff that they've been through lately with Jordy and Red Pill Blues. Um. That album and that song really were just are just timeless. That's their timeless time pet time period. It still sounds great today, and I love that about them. Um, but like this album, it went on to achieve multi platinum status. This, this, they had tons of hit singles with "Harder to Breathe," "This Love." Um, they, I think they opened up for the Rolling Stones actually in two thousand five when this album got released. 
That's a they, they talk. You want to talk about success? Their first album went platinum in like really quick, and they had tons of success, and they just kept going and going and going. But their first album to me is their best. I do love this record. I don't have a, like I said, I don't have a physical copy of it. I don't have a CD of it. I have the streaming. I have it. I have the album saved on my Spotify, and that's fine. But and I'm cool with that. That's fine. I but this record is really a great album. And the fact that it's turned 20 made me feel a little bit older than I should because <laughs> I'm 23. The fact that it came out like in 2002 is crazy. Think about that for a second. Maroon 5 has been around for over 20 years now, and they're they've taken on like the world practically with how popular they are. So, long story short, if you've not heard songs about Jane, their first album, get on it, do a little celebration for it. Um, personally, I loved it. I still love it to this day. It is my favorite Maroon 5 album. Still stands the test of time as a like Stone Cold classic. Neil, so, um, just some hard rock elements in there too. The Heart of the Breeze is a hard rock song, guys. It's true. And they, they, it's just one more thing too about Maroon 5 before we wrap up this video. When I, I saw Maroon 5 on my birthday in 2018, okay? Saw Maroon 5, they toured on my birthday, they came to the garden, whatever. It was the last night of the tour. And I got to tell you, I really got to tell you, they do not sound pop-ish when they are live. That's the thing. So they sound one way live. They sound one way on record, and they sound one way live. Live, I kid you not, ladies and gents, I saw Adam Levine pick up a guitar and start doing tapping like Eddie Van Halen. The dude can shred. And he, I wish they would make more albums like that. That might even bring rock back to a different level that it already is at. Um, but I think that Adam Levine tapping when I saw him was intriguing to me. I got it on video on my Snapchat or whatever. It was really something to see. Like he's like, I'm like, whoa, what? Maroon 5 rocks? What? It's crazy. Um, we just go look up videos of them live and you'll see them tapping or playing guitar and stuff. And some people say that's fake. It's not fake. They actually do shred live. It's crazy how they actually like perform live with hard rock. It's insane. But on on record though, it sounds different. So smart moves, don't, don't tricky move, whatever. But long story short, songs about Jane has turned twenty. What do you guys think about this? Uh, jump down in the comment section. Are you a Maroon Five fan? Uh, sound off in the comment section below with your love of this album or share what, what do you like Red Pill Blues or Jordy? Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. Love to hear your thoughts on this. Hit the bell, smash the like, whatever you gotta do. Uh, for all of your rock talk episodes, keep it locked on the Super Show. The J Man is off to rock.